Hi guys, so I've got a Asda food haul for you. Um, just FYI, if you can hear a lot of um, crazy wind or, or rain, basically, if you're not, not aware, um, Cornwall, where I live, is currently having weather warnings. We are, we've been upgraded from a yellow to an amber alert for flooding and power loss and all of that kind of thing, but the winds are really high and they're kind of rattling through our little house. So apologies if you can hear that. Um, yes, as to food hall, wasn't sure if they were gonna to come today and the driver did tell me that was quite bad flooding um, where he had to come from. So I was quite impressed it got here. Um, it's much smaller than the ones we've had the last couple of weeks, but really it was just to kind of top things up, um, but without us having to go to like the corner shop um, so yeah, I'm going to jump right in over this end. Um, got some starfruit and amber um, washing powder. I really want to try the soap nuts um, that I've seen on Claire's channel, but I just haven't got around to it. I couldn't find them when I looked for them, and every time I get to the end of the box, I'm just being lazy and picking things like this up. But this one does smell really nice. Then I got a red washing bowl for the sink. Um... Just I'm kind of hoping, hoping to use a little bit less water by doing it this way. Um, I got some sweetener. We don't normally buy it branded. We normally buy it just the the store version, but um, it was on offer, so it was actually cheaper than Asda's own brand. I got a soft and gentle sensitive deodorant for me. Um, Diet Pepsi. We've actually got two Diet Pepsis. Um, and then I got some of this. I only bought one bottle last week and I was gutted because I really liked it. Um, and they're four for £1.50. And it's sparkling strawberry and vanilla um, flavoured water. And it's four calories for like a, a normal size glass. So it's really, really good. Obviously it's more calories than Pepsi. But it's just, it's just a little bit different. And then I got a... Primula light cheese and then I got two packs of quark um, There was quite a lot of substitutions this week. Uh, I think I only sent two things back um, But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with with the things I've kept so Was it's different from the one I ordered last week, but it's still really low calorie So hopefully it will taste the same as well pack of Maltesers because I'm going to do another quark quark cheesecake um, a pack of this we picked um, the dime bar version up at home bargains last weekend and I loved it um, they didn't do the dime bar version as so I just got the plain milk chocolate I ordered Weight Watchers garlic bread but they sent um, some garlic and herb patty petty pans which will be fine it's just to go with um, a bolognese We've got a small Hovis best of both loaves. Loaf? Oh, I can't speak. Um, we've got a bag of um, diced carrot and swede, which I will mash. Some baby corn. That's dog treats that didn't come today. <laughs> um, two packs of these parsnips. John might not be too happy because I cooked some of these last night and he didn't like them. Um, but I think that was more to do with my cooking skills than there isn't anything wrong with the parsnips um, and then I've got this one this wasn't what I ordered but it's fine it's basically green beans carrots and um, sugar snaps and I've got some grapes a lettuce then I've got um, reduced sugar and salt baked beans times two uh, pack of curly whirlies for pack lunch some corn um it's like the corn version of pastrami it's all right i've had it before it's just for pat lunches um some corn cocktail sausages again for pat lunch i'm a little bit gutted because i ordered the corn mini eggs as well but they didn't have any and they the corn mini eggs i actually really enjoy um a pack of bacon medallions and some lovely looking boneless chicken thigh fillets and then, oh, there's a mixture of frozen fresh here. We've got four cauliflower cheese crispy grills. They're not that bad on the calorie side of things, but yeah, still have to be careful. This, um, it's an 18 piece party 
platter from the vegetarian section. Thai green coconut rice balls. Something I can't pronounce. Fritters and Tex-Mex wedge with nacho crumb. It's just, we kind of like, if we're having a movie day, I like to do like a little picky tea. And I normally find that if you pick the vegetarian over the meat stuff, it does work out better calorie-wise. These we had last week, they are Lush, Pesto, Mozzarella Bites and Monterey Jack with Chili Dippers. They are yummy. Um, this, I've never ever had meatloaf before. John mentioned it the other week about meatloaf and I was like, mm, okay. Um, now this is meant to do four people so, you know, it's going to do two meals for us if, if I like it. But I'm a bit concerned because it just looks like stuffing wrapped in bacon to me. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving it a try. And then we've got some steak. I've been dreaming of steak. We've eaten so much pork and chicken recently. I was like, yes, need some steak. So, um, four peppercorn beef medallions matured for 21 days for extra tenderness. I think that looks lush. And then some frozen green beans, some frozen corn mints, and some of this 45% less fat vanilla light ice cream. So, yes, not as much as always. I think it came to less than £50. Obviously, there is no milk or eggs, um, which we tend to pick up as we go. Well, no, sometimes we get our eggs from supermarkets, but there's a lovely lady that sells them local to us, and they're free range, so we try and get those as often as we can. Um, and yes, that is all our food for this week. Not sure if I'm going to be doing a meal plan video um, in February just because of vlogging every day in February. So, you know, tend to show it over when I'm doing a vlog. Um, but they're probably the uh, Meals of the Week videos will probably come back in March. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you have weather warnings where you are, I hope you are safe and warm. Um, and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care. Bye bye.